I'm not really sure what to say. Iris, we only have 20 minutes. I suggest you figure it out. Uh... There are two, and also, there are two things which I need to ask you before we reconvene. No! First, about that night, you really didn't go to the inner temple, correct? The last witness claims to have met and talked with you in the training hall. Either you or Sister Bikini is lying. It's just as I said yesterday. Okay, I'm sitting in the kudos in my own room in the temple. Very well. The second thing, then. That night, the temple snowmobile was used in between the time Sister Bikini returned to the main hall and when she bore witness to the murder. Sometime between 10.30 and 11 p.m. that night, were you the one who used the snowmobile? There's only one key for the snowmobile. The only person who could have used it was me. So, it was you. But, <coughs> why? What made you go out to Dusky Bridge? I'm sorry, Mr. Ezra. Iris. I can't tell you about that yet. <laughs> yet. This is how Maya feels. Her? What? The safety of the acolyte. The acolyte, huh? She's must be talking about Maya. She's. <laughs> Edward. She must be talking about my uh. <laughs> Edward, why are you thinking in bad grammar? <laughs> it's Edward's I was secret. Looked me in the eye and tell me the truth. Did you kill Elise Duxnam? But no, this... I can never take a life <laughs> As I thought. No psycho psycho lock. Very well. It is my job to get to the truth. You'll discover this for yourself yourself soon enough. Why did you say the same thing twice, Mr. Edgar? What did I say twice? I don't remember, Mr. Edgeworth, but you need to work on your speaking. Whatever. During the break, a man was detained for suspicious behavior in the gallery. Suspicious behavior? He was sketching something. Very intensely. Yes, what was he sketching when... He drew a terrifying woman armed with a demonic face and a vicious whip. <laughs> the judge's face. <laughs> anyway... It's time to drag this pathetic excuse for an artist before the court. I'll be right back. Oh. Boris Duxnim, I hope you're ready. Get in here. D did he just leave? I think he just left the courthouse. But 
My wit can only go so far. I must chase after him. I will be right back. Seem that Whip is going to see plenty more use today. Your sketch is in contempt of this court. You tried to run away from the bailiff who is trying to hand you your subpoena, correct? You're Larry. Uh, 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 nothing out of watching artists out of trading in mountains. I only got in the city because I ran out of green paint. Always the color green. It must be important. Well, the technical term for the color is... Verdi-dad. <laughs> Verdi? Larry, this is in an art store. Now, is it? I know. I graduated junior high, okay? Th that's not something you should continuously brag about. I, I still can't believe he, I still can't believe he actually made it to middle school. Yeah. Look, art is all about working in the fields, isn't it? Working in the fields? I presume he wanted to say field work. I, I hope. That's it. Thanks, buddy. It's kind of sad that I was able to understand his mangled train wreck of a sentence. I just happened to stop here and find person to draw. So see, I got nothing to do with this trial at all. I expect all your faces to be red when you realize a mistake. Or the term is Crimson Lake. Ugh. Just thought of that, it's just out. Ow, ow, ow. Stop your pathetic blabbering and testify like a man. Refrain from letting me... God's living is his best crush. Wait, this is all your fault. Testify now. It's almost too much for me. As he just smiles and gives the thumbs up. This is too much for me. You you can see like he's trying, but you can see the pain in his face. Yes. I was at that lodge out in the mountains looking up at the stars that night. I walked to the bridge a number of times, but I didn't see a Snowmobile. Didn't meet anyone at the bridge that night. My girl was a for didn't show up. My teacher died. Alone. Aren't I a G? Yes. Why, yes, why, you're why, why, very why? alone. Witness, please refrain from talking directly to the lawyers during your testimony. <laughs> I'm sure someone has talked to the lawyers directly during their testimony. Right? I'm just a nobody, nothing but worthless and small. Why wasn't I asked for my name and occupation? Andrew, this man seems to have a quite severe inferiority complex. 
He's recently been the cause of numerous incidents. I think he's finally realized for himself just how much of a nuisance he has been to other people. Yes, I, I'm behind everything, every case. Really? <laughs> Watch out, okay? I need to make you entirely happy. Oh, that's good. Uh, I feel kind of bad for Larry. I kind of do too. Well then, let's just proceed with the cross-examination with no touch. With what? Yeah, no oh. touch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm tired, okay? Sure. I'll go the bridge and the... Why did he stutter when he said snowmobile? I'm still feeling a bit... Yeah. Larry, you really didn't see it? No need to hit your desk. I can hear you. I shouldn't see it. I didn't see the snowmobile. Larry, say snowmobile for me, please. Snowmobile. If you truly have nothing to hide, then why are you stammering like you just flew over a cuckoo's nest? Shut up! I don't know who asked me! It seems that I'll need to start from a more, a more obvious con contradiction. Yeah. I'm going to strike the blow that will finally get him to spill the beans. You didn't meet anyone? That's right. I got nothing to do with this. I'm just here to buy some Viridian paint. <laughs> yes, not pressing him. Okay. Yes. Uh... I mean, he did. We know that he met Phoenix. I don't know if that will work. Okay, it does. Very but. I can understand why you might want to throw your old life away. You're pretty pathetic and you call, cause all sorts of trouble. That looks mean. But, having realized just how much of a nuisance you've been, that could be considered a step in the right direction. Ellie, are you trying to insult me? <laughs> it certainly doesn't sound that way to me. However, I cannot forgive you for simply turning away from the incidents you create. Then, let us talk about the night of the murder. Sister Bikini, after seeing the murder take, to, bleh, take place, asked Phoenix Wright to report it. Thus, he headed, headed for the public phone by the bridge. There, he happened to cross, bleh, he happened to cross a certain nefarious individual. You, Larry Butts. That's right! Me in the flesh. Ugh. I'm gonna listen carefully, witness. Doesn't matter. Change your name. So long as you remain a pretty pathetic human, you will continue causing incidents. Why are they being so mean? 
That reality will not change. What you want me to do? Larry, what you need to change is your inner self. What you saw that night. Testify truthfully. That is all you can do for now. I... I... I think I woken up. I guess I could still be sleepy. I don't know anymore. But anyway, I'll testify. I'm not sure this will go especially well, but... <laughs> I'll ask again, then. What did say on night of kill? I am... Uh, I entered the shock around 9, so it would have been about 10, 30. I was like, I'm adding when I saw a white flash almost blinded me. And I looked at the window and Dusky Bridge was on fire. There was some light, that thunder, not lightning. <laughs> I went to check it out. Then I ran into Nick. Uh, you certainly saw quite a lot, didn't you? So what happened to the, the bridge after it caught on fire? It was <coughs> like after a three-day deal. Wait, what? Uh, I'm confused. I'm tired. Did say sprint? Is he running? I have no idea. Is this what happens when I'm tired? Anyway. Yes, totally I noticed. Out. It was almost gone. Gone. I mean, trying to cross the bridge remains is what caused Nick to fall. But what did you say? Uh, trying to cross worry. the bridge is what caused Nick to fall. Nothing life-threatening. He just caught a cold. As Oli waits, hard to know if he should be called lucky or unlucky. Master Edger, please can answer cross-examination. Um You said right away, but exactly how long after the strike was that? Lightning fell and then the bridge caught on fire, maybe around five minutes. I mean, sudden, I suddenly had to go check this out. How far is this small shack you were in from the bridge? Stop snowing. I guess about five minute walk. And how did Dusky Bridge look when you got there? Uh, that's like I recovered a face of my childhood. That's so sad. Yes. I mean, not even the one where kids made dur make during school camp main trips can compare. Well, sh should I press him a little more for info? Yeah. 
so you suddenly thought to check out the bridge. Does this mean that you had in, that you initially had no intention of doing so? Well, I I guess it does. It's really cold. It really really need to go out. If that's the case, why did you change your mind? I would like to hear your reasoning. In which case, please give a testimony to that. <coughs> Okay, reasoning. Oh, so you decide to go and see what uh, blah, and see what was happening? That's right. We're talking about a massive suspension bridge burning. Something you don't see every day. <laughs> like, really special. Do you really trust a witness who is unable to pronounce spectacle? Why well, seems to be love hitting this poor witness below the belt. Uh, oh, my God, I was a hit life back as hard as I can. Wow. Uh, we're going to end it here. Thanks for watching, Pharaoh. Pharaoh.